First, I need to verify that the justification for all of the text is correct. I'm going to select one of the text elements. I right-click and choose Select Similar. Once again, I've got all the text selected. Then I right-click, choose Properties, and change my justification to Middle Center. I'm going to press Escape and that releases my selection. Notice now when I select a text object, my grip is right in the center of that text. I make that center grip hot and then hover over the border of my polyline to activate the geometric center and reposition the text. It locates the text nicely right inside of the polyline. I'll repeat that for each of the text elements. All I have to do is use the grips and object snap to reposition each text element. You may recall I wasn't able to use the geometric center when the rectangles were defined by individual lines. The lower staging area was already a polyline. I want to change the width of that polyline so it matches all the other polylines I just created. I could use the polyline edit command and just modify the width, or I could use the match properties tool on the home ribbon. I select the match properties tool. I select the polyline for the shipping and receiving area as my source object. I right click and choose settings. Notice in the lower half of the setting dialog, polyline is enabled. That means that I can match any special properties of existing polylines, like width. I press OK. I select the lower staging polyline and it automatically updates. My manager wants to know how much square footage these spaces are taking up. There are a lot of different methods I could use to figure it out, but I have found that the boundary command works really well for this. I'm going to switch to the boundary layer. I'm going to draw a rectangle around my warehouse layout. When I hover over the rectangle I just placed, AutoCAD reports the object as a polyline. That's a good thing to know. Rectangles are polylines. I type boundary. The boundary command allows me to create a polyline or a region. I select a polyline to be created. I pick a point inside the rectangle but outside the warehouse layout. A polyline was created. I'm going to select it and move it outside the rectangle so you can see it. Notice it's an outline of the warehouse. Before I look for the square footage, I'm going to use the status bar to change my units to architectural. I select the polyline, I right click and select properties. I look in the area field and now I have an answer for my manager. 6,005 square feet. 